What's up guys, it's Sop. It's Friday and I got a lovely news article to start the weekend for you. I just found this. It's probably a little bit old. It's actually from March 15, 2021. But let me read the headline. Florida man allegedly pulled out human ears while being questioned for grandpa slay. I don't know if this is the same as the Twitter psych ward patients who always say, yes, queen, slay, queen. But I guess he actually slayed his grandpa, a.k.a. killed him. But I, I, that's what I'm guessing. But I haven't read the article yet, so let me continue reading. Suspect initially told investigator he acted in self-defense by pulling off the grandpa's ears. Interesting. Said older man attacked him with a knife. Well, I, I, I doubt that, that that is what actually happened, especially if you're going to pull the ear of somebody's... Oh, I don't know if he was alive still. I don't know if uh, that's tragic. I don't know if the grandpa was still alive when he got his ears pulled off. Um, or that he was already dead. And that he claimed the ears as sort of a way, as you have like in the quest runescape, when you slay the dragon, Elfark, that you claim the head. But he claimed the ears as a trophy or something. Pretty sick. But this man who did it, the Florida man, we're going to look at the picture. The picture's over here. Um... Massive psych ward patient, like should be in there 24-7, of course, if you if you literally pull out, because this was during an interview. I haven't read it, but if you look at the headline, he allegedly pulled out human ears while being questioned. So the detective or whoever else is asking questions is just asking the regular uh, procedure questions, what they always do, you know, to get information, of course. And then it just randomly pulls out human ears. That's a massive psych ward patient, should be in there 24 7, locked up, throw away the key. I mean, that's just. And is it actually still the case in the US that you can have forced intake, or what is the word, forced, being forced in a mental hospital? Is that still true? You know, if it was, H3, H3, and Logan Paul should be in there for the rest of their life. But I heard somebody say that they're going to bring, actually Donald J. Trump said it actually, that he's going to bring back the mental hospitals or the mental houses, whatever they call it, with forced admission. That was the word I was looking for. Is that a thing in the US? Because I'm pretty sure in my country it is a thing if you have reasonable proof that the person is going to hurt themselves or others. But I don't know if this is the case. But this guy, by the way, proud American, pulling out the human ears of a grandpa during an interview. I always love it because when I'm reviewing these weird fucking news articles, you always get this proud American next to it. Florida man allegedly pulled out human ears. Proud American. So let me continue reading. A Florida man allegedly pulled a pair of severed human ears out of his pant pockets while being questioned in his grandfather's murder. Okay, it's actually his own grandfather. I don't know. Of course, it said grandpa, but it could be somebody else's grandpa, but... Maybe he didn't get the fee bucks from Fortnite from his grandpa and then decided to pull off the human ears. And again, I didn't know if he first slayed the grandpa and then pulled off the human ears or before that and then decided to slay him. I don't know. It's really peculiar, of course, and I don't have the details, but we're going to find out. Colby Parker. Shit fucking name. I mean, I would pull human ears off as well if my parents named that. Colby was accused of fatally stabbing his 77-year-old granddad, Ronald Wells SR, on Saturday evening inside the Lake County home they shared, the Orlando Sentinel reported. So this guy was, I'm not judging, but he was fucking 30 years old, living with his grandpa, did not get the V-Bucks from Fortnite, and then decided to go on a rampage and to, you know, eat some... Well, I hope he didn't eat the ears, because this is not... <laughs> Um, <clears throat> some people are actually, uh, it's not a joke. Like, I was recently in the UK, and it's not to slander the UK, but they actually eat the ears of a pig. Pig ears. And of course, they eat every other, every other body part of the pig in China, probably. Uh, and it's actually true, I've been to the food market. I've told this story many times, and I'm getting off topic, but I've actually been in China twice. Actually, interesting country. Seriously, it's like a lot of shit to see. It's actually interesting. It's what the Great Wall. I've been there. But the food market, they sell living. Yes, it was on a stick and it was still moving. Living scorpions, bats, centipedes, spiders, whatever you fucking want to eat, you can find it there. And yes, in the middle 
of the street because it was an entire street of the market. I actually had to find a barrel to puke in. It's no joke that the smell is more disgusting than you, what you would find on TLC, My Strange Addiction, where the people are like 700 pounds between, you know, if they don't shower. Those types of smell you would find in the food market. Um, but other than that, it's an interesting country. But I'm going to go back to this news article and guess that this man did not eat the ears. Oh, even though in the UK, yes, they eat pig ears. And I would never do that. I mean, it's like I don't even eat pig meat. Not out of religion or whatever else. But I just think it's disgusting. Parker <clears throat> initially told investigators that he acted in self-defense saying the older man attacked him with a knife during a fight the two had while smoking marijuana according to the report so very interesting because <clears throat> first of all proud american patriot but isn't it the case still that in the most states of the u.s marijuana is illegal of course it doesn't mean that you can get it can't get it of course many people i believe my country is completely legal, not, not by law, but it's what's the word that the police won't enforce it. There's a specific word for that, but I didn't study law. But it's not legal according to the law, but you will not get into trouble unless you sell it, I'm pretty sure. But I'm going to go ahead and guess this was, well, of course, how could I fucking forget it? It's in Florida, of course. Maybe I should go to the Sark White right now. I'm not going to eat somebody's ears, though, don't worry. But the point I'm trying to make is I'm pretty sure in Florida it's illegal THC. So this guy's already um, confessing to also using substances that are banned, which is not very smart. But my the other important question is, did the 77-year-old granddad, Ronald Wells, did he get fucking high as a kite as well? Because he said that he attacked him with a knife during a fight the two had while smoking marijuana. This is one of those I learned that in the class very fucking long time ago. Well, this is not a run-on sentence, but it's a fucking confusing sentence. Does that make sense? Because the point I'm trying to make is you don't... If you read this, you will not understand if they both smoked marijuana or just that one motherfucker who pulled off the ears of the granddad. You know, the sentence is not clear enough. But I'm going to go ahead and guess that the 77-year-old man also got high as a kite. So that it gives some extra details to the story, I guess. That might explain a little bit how they got into a fight even though many people that do smoke thc will get triggered and say you will become more calm but maybe the 77 year old bloke and more specifically if you look at this motherfucker's faux hat how can you sit there in a question well how can you sit there in the what is it questioning room with all these wounds and this schizo look in your eyes and tell me that you were not the aggressor you were not the first one to attack. Like, what the fuck? If you look at this face, lock it up in a psych ward 24-7. It's no joke. Colby Parker. Um, <clears throat> what is this? Florida driver mows down woman in Cracker Barrel parking lot. Interesting. He claimed he was forced to turn the knife on Wells, whose body was found on the front porch with multiple stab wounds. Pretty grim. But while he was being interviewed in the case... Parker allegedly took his grandfather's ears out of his pants and then lunged at a deputy while trying to grab his gun and taser, the report said. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. It's very completely, the whole story is completely done now. If this motherfucker, this is actually true that he lunged at one of the officers over there while trying to story and pulling out the ears of his grandfather's, grandfather's ears out of his pants. You could probably draw the conclusion that this Colby Parker bloke who didn't get his V-Bucks from Fortnite where was the one who was the aggressor, attacked his grandfather, father, stabbed him, and took off the ears as a trophy. But <clears throat> it's kind of comparable to the recent, this happened two days ago, very viral clip of a convict who got the night, what is it called, the night bond in Las Vegas. And he jumped on the judge, punched her face in. I believe he punched her like five times or something. And some U.S. marshal. And just one minute before that, he was begging for a bond. What is it called? Maybe you got it wrong. Uh, how the fuck do I not know this? When you can get out of... Well, you don't have to be in jail, but with regular checkups. Is it bond or whatever the fuck it is? I don't know. Either way. Just one minute before that, he, he begged the judge and said he was a changed mind. Changed man. 
He doesn't do drugs anymore. He doesn't do crime anymore. He doesn't batter people with baseball bats anymore. And just one minute later, he goes on a massive assault, jumping on a judge. And he even after the assault, he confessed that he wanted to kill her. It's so unbelievably low IQ to... You've already committed the crime, the violent crime. But then afterwards, you also give them the information of your true intention, which is even worse than what he did. Because, of course, that was just assault. But then he said he wanted to kill her, kill the judge. So then you give them even more legal ability to lock you the fuck up. So, I mean, you, do you know what I mean? Can't speak right now. But, yeah, it's like unbelievable that you are that low IQ to then give them the information of your true intention because always you want to say of course I'm not a criminal and I haven't studied law but the best thing probably you could say is I wasn't thinking or you can use the insane defense like this motherfucker is definitely insane but I don't know if you use that in defense I have a video of my main channel uh, on my main channel of a woman who was caught human trafficking and then she just pretended to be a fucking demon. It's actually called, uh, what is it called? Oblivion NPC battle or something summoning the demon. Something along the line, my main channel sub. But she used the, she clearly was not insane, but she pretended to be a fucking schizo major, like NA solo queue challenger player, major schizo demon in order to claim I should not be held responsible for my crimes because I'm not all well in the skull up there. You know what I mean? Police said Parker eventually confessed that he wanted his grandfather to be with his deceased grandmother and it was his time to go. According to an arrest affidavit obtained by the Sentinel. He allegedly hit Wells multiple times in the head with a baseball bat. Even a fucking baseball bat. What is it always with these ba baseball bats? I mean, this is the US in... U is an A, right? The uh, Second Amendment. I, it's better than a gun, of course. That's always true. I guess that's true. So he hit him multiple times in the head with a baseball bat before report repeatedly stabbing him with a butcher knife and cutting off his ears, cops said. I mean, this is Florida, of course, so I'm gonna go ahead and guess that he will never, ever get out of prison. Because if this, this is what you always hear, and it's kind of true, just what I told you about the Las Vegas convict they're out the same day but but not for this of course this is murder and pretty fucking grim but if he only gets like 10 or 15 years for this that would be very very bad you should probably say lock this motherfucker up permanently and if he gets out of prison he should be in the psych ward or what do you call it mental hospital probably locked on change chains and, well, what, and with another thing what do you, you also see this sometimes in court where a serious criminal will have this some some shit in their mouth and it's not what they usually have their balls but it's something something that you can bite into so that you can use your mouth to bite somebody else like i don't know what the name for that is but it, you should probably have this as well um parker also allegedly punched kicked or headbutted three deputies Three? How is that even possible? Because again, this is the US. They would have tased him 50,000 times already if they got within 10 feet. Kicked or headbutted three deputies as they attempted to arrest him, according to the affidavit. In another gruesome detail, investigators said they found an apron in Parker's bedroom that had the phrase, the family butcher. Printed on it and plastic bloody human ears attached to it. So this... Okay, this fucking massive psych ward resident had an apron in his bedroom with fake, in this case, fake plastic bloody human ears. So he, it's his fucking fetish or fantasy to actually cut off somebody's ears. And that's what he actually did to his grandfather. Holy fuck. And why did his grandfather not kick him out of the house a long time ago or report him to the... <laughs> to the police because you can clearly tell just look at his face i mean this is someone you definitely would walk over the street to avoid on the same pavement i mean this is a massive schizo and i, I didn't study psychiatry but i can immediately see that this is danger lock him up on chains parker was charged with second degree murder how is it second degree i mean it's pretty obvious that if he had <laughs> I just told you he had an apron in his bathroom with the phrase, the family butcher, so that is clear, 
the one thing you need for first degree murder is premeditation, right? What is it called? Premeditated. So you had a plan before you acted out on it. If you ordered from Amazon an apron with the phrase, the family butcher, maybe he even did a personal request. Request. I want the phrase, the family butcher on my fucking apron. And they said, okay, if you pay me enough money, we'll do it, but it's pretty fucking weird. What are you going to do with that? You're actually going to butcher your family. No, it's just for a Halloween party. But this is clear premeditation, if that's an actual word. And he had plastic, bloody human ears attached to it. And that's exactly what he did to his grandfather. Cut off the ears and put it in his pocket and pulled out. I mean, to me, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a judge. Whatever fucking has to do with law or criminal justice. But that sounds pretty much a lot to premeditation to me. Even though this is not the type of bloke who is a vegan yoga doing meditation. But the point I'm trying to make, it was premeditated, according to me. And that is very reliable. So was charged with second degree murder, battery on a law enforcement officer, and resisting with violence. Yeah, and uh, fucking pulling out the ears. At least he has uh, good vestibulo cochlear nerves, if he actually used that for the ears. He was being held in Lake County Jail without bond. Okay, finally, because <laughs> what do I say finally? I've re refuted so many Florida men, like gruesome murders and whatever else, or rape, or... It was a naked Florida man who used a machete to slash a woman because the woman did not have a crack pipe when he asked for it. And he got a, I'm pretty sure, I don't know, he got a bond. Oh, and now I remember, by the way, with the case in the Las Vegas, uh, the convict jumping on a judge. I couldn't remember what he got denied, but I'm pretty sure he got denied, he got denied bail or bond. One of the two, doesn't matter, but... So many of these, what I wanted to say, Florida man stories, like pretty fucking gruesome, they still get like a bond. Sometimes even 500 or 2,000 or 10,000, even if it's 10,000 for a severe crime, that you should never get a bond for any crime, probably, because it's too much of a danger to society. Is it not? Um, again, balding hairline check. It's getting worse and worse by the day. Um, and yes, it's relevant because if it's receding even more, I even more have a dome of desire, as they call it in the UK, I'm pretty sure. When you get the shiny faux, bald forehead spot, it's called a dome of desire. I've heard that somewhere. But I might get arrested. I've said this before. If I have too much receding, it will be a public danger because people will puke if they see it. And that's um, also an offense. And you will get arrested for that. So... I hope it slows down. I was actually thinking, we're getting off topic, but we're finished with the article. Florida man allegedly pulled out human ears while being questioned for Grandpa Slay. Yes, Queen Slay. As the Twitter zoo files would say. <coughs> or X now, I guess. And Alex Jones is back on Twitter. Um, also, always interesting uh, theories on the fucking platform. Either way... Thank you very much for watching. And what I wanted to say ultimately is if you go, this is actually a true story. Many people don't believe it, but if you're balding like myself, if, you enter, if you're entering the territory of balding subhumanity, it's actually true that once the hair is out of the sack, it takes five years before your body permanently removes the hair sacks, I'm pretty sure, if they get damaged by DHT. So if you take something like finasteride and minoxidil, which are DHT inhibitors, you can actually get regrowth. Many people don't believe this, but you can actually regrow hair. But it's only if you take it within five years of the hair no longer being there. Do you know what I mean? If you wait longer than five years, it will not regrow. Pretty sure. But again, I didn't study hair. Um, and this motherfucker will study the hair of the nuts of other prisoners because yeah it's in u.s prisons there's a lot of dirty shit going on with the guards not doing anything or they're paid off whatever that's uh lovely about the texas prisons or california prisons or wherever else you're not gonna have a good old time but thank you all very much for watching <laughs>